Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome to this episode! In this episode, we are going to be working on our grizzly bear habitat, which is all the way at the back of our North American area of the zoo, which is actually really exciting because it is the last habitat in North America that we are doing. Um, so it is squeezed back here right across from the Himalayan brown bears. I kind of like the idea of having both of the bears together sort of towards the back since a lot of people want to see them and kind of entice people to walk all the way through the zoo. So some really quick information on sort of what we're doing is that I decided to build sort of a wall set for construction. So you can see it there, I'm kind of moving it around. And I basically went through and designed some wall pieces for each like um, wall section that we have. And the outside of them are like stone and the inside is like the stucco limestone. And that way I can just kind of copy and paste them around. And it helps to build the buildings much faster because I don't have to go in and do all that log detailing myself. So the building came out really cute. I really like the way the inside came out since it's sort of like a different um, wall texture than the outside and I think it adds a really interesting touch to it. So the grizzly bear, so the inside of this building does get a little bit weird since um, the grizzly bears actually need quite a large space to be able to have traversability. So originally we put in these gates here to sort of insinuate that these are where the um, bears can get put away for the night. Um, but they can't get in there and they also can't get through there because we do put like a raised um, eating area on the other side and they, they just can't walk through it so we end up having to get rid of those gates but we put a gate on the outside of the main door into the habitat so that works. But yeah so we get um, four bears in here which is a little bit large for their recommended um, size of groups but I think it works out there. They're not too upset it has about 58 for their social group and I think that's fine. We have one male and three females. But yeah, so after this habitat is done, we will be done with the North American area of the park. Which is crazy to think because I feel like we just started it, like what was it, two weeks ago maybe? But yeah, we're coming up to an end. The only thing left to do is sort of like some small detail work and filling in some greens and adding some detail to some buildings that didn't get it. And sort of adding some cute little um, Easter egg pieces for the guests. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in the last live stream. Um, is sort of just going around the zoo and filling in gaps and stuff like that together. So that um, our next live stream after that, we will be starting a new section, a new zone of the park. So there's a few places we could go. Uh, we can continue heading in this direction and sort of go into the Arctic Cove, which we end up turning this entire mountainside behind this building, um, where we put that restaurant up on the hill. All of that is now a snow-capped hill. And I figured it would help with transitioning into the Arctic Cove if all of that up there was snow. So we could go there. Uh, we could also kind of loop around and sort of go th straight through where the beavers are and start working on Los Tropicos, which is our South American area. Or we can go back to where we all began this, this part, section of the zoo, which is where the bison habitat is, and start working on the Australia section. So Los Tropicos and Australia both will have park entrances. So I'm kind of leaning towards one of those. However, I'm also really uh, interested in kind of doing the Arctic Cove because I've been really liking doing all the snow and taiga tundra kind of decor. So not quite sure yet where we're going to head. I have a poll on um, the channel or on my Twitch. My, it was not Twitch, my Twitter. So people can go and vote to see where we're going to go. Um, but I'm excited. It's so weird to think that we're done with this. Um, the one thing I'm going to do before we move on to the new section is I'm going to do a little cinematic video tour um, of this whole section of the zoo. Probably like a good like you know, 25 minute video of just really nice pretty cinematics, visuals of the animals, um, just kind of walking around the zoo and seeing what's going on and stuff like that. So I think that would be um, probably the last thing that we'll do, I also want to do an Adobe Illustrator episode um, for when we redo the map of this area because one of the things I want to add into the zoo while we're kind of going through and tweaking is um, I'll, making sure all the maps and informationals and um, like, oh, go, go over here and look at this habitat signs and stuff like that. And I want to make sure that the map that we have for the North American area is... Um, uh, complete because what I was thinking about doing is we have the large zoo map we've been using uh, that has the entire zoo but I also want to do maps that are for each individual section so while you're in the North America area you see more of these smaller North American maps to kind of help you get around that specific area and then the transition areas will probably have more of the large maps so you can kind of see all the way around the zoo but yeah other than that 
it's really exciting to kind of be finishing this up. Um, I feel like we just came up with the plan of the areas in the zoo that we're going to have, and now we're kind of finishing it up. So most of the terrain work is already done for this habitat. Um, I didn't really have to go in and do much since we already did it before. It was just kind of a little bit of tweaking it. I ended up making the river a little bit more narrow because it was kind of like this huge lake, and I wanted to give them some more running around area. Um, so we ended up kind of making the river a little bit more narrow and also a little bit more shallower so the bears can actually like walk around in it as well as there's a few areas that they can swim in it. And in the very back of this habitat there is that big waterfall cave um, and we kind of fixed that up so that they can run back there and kind of hang out in that cave. Um, which they do like to go there a lot since there is not that much shelter area sort of on this end of the habitat, guests are absolutely obsessed with them. And at one point, I think that whole bridge there was just full of people just staring at the animals. So we end up going in and adding a whole bunch of like little, um, little nooks and crannies that can kind of go in and hang out. And we add a lot of these climbing features because um, I wanted to make sure they had like areas to kind of go and play and be active. So we add a whole bunch of climbing features back here, which is visible from that um, look outpost if you go into the fallow deer habitat. We have that deck all the way at the end of that habitat that people can walk through. So you can actually get a pretty good view over there, but in general there's a lot of shelter over there for them. And we do end up adding in a really big rock cave um, just on the other side of the uh, animal talk uh, building there, which is a little bulky. I will say, so far, my least favorite part of the park is this path that goes between these two grizzly bear, I mean, these two bear habitats, just because it's really squished and um, kind of narrow, and I don't really like how pushed together everything is. I remember when we were saying that we wanted the style of the zoo to be really spread out, um, and that there's a lot of, like, kind of intertwining and moving around so that you don't really know where you are. Um, but I don't really like the way that the path is just behind this. And I'm not quite sure how we can fix that. Maybe we can figure it out in the live stream. Get some advice from you guys. You can kind of see right back here where the, the two fences kind of squeeze together. I'm going to have to figure something out and see if there's a way to kind of make that look a little bit better. Maybe we push this cave more into the habitat and sort of do like a seating area back there. Because it's just so narrow. It's like a hallway. Um, but yeah, so here we are kind of wrapping it up. We're putting some trees and some flowers in, which I really think kind of tie the whole thing in together and give them a lot more shelter and space. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the audio. Um, and at the end of this, there's some cinematic shots if you want to stick around for that. But I hope to see you in either one of the live streams or in the next episode. Um, if you don't, I hope you have fun doing whatever it is you are doing. Uh, we are going to be live streaming on Thursday. We live stream Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays at 2. At this point in time, we're pretty much exclusively doing Planet Zoo. Um, and Sir Reginald State Zoo. Uh, and if you ever miss a live stream, I always upload them to this channel, as well as live streams like this, just some fun extra content are always uploaded here as well. So thank you so much for sticking by. Um, I hope to see you in another video. And like I said, if I don't see you in another one, I hope you have fun doing whatever it is you are doing, and I wish you all the best. I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode, and goodbye!